Good morning and welcome. I have a fantastic Dollar Tree haul for you today. Now I have a nice selection of some new Halloween craft items and a couple signs. I also have a lot of wonderful fall items, both crafting and decor items. I picked up a few craft supplies, some wreath supplies, and of course a few of my favorite snacks and drinks. Oh, and I also found a few great items in the beauty section. So I have a lot to share with you today. Let's go ahead and jump in and get started. And I'm going to start with Halloween. Now my store did put out a few more new signs here for Halloween. Uh, this was one of them. I thought it was really cute. Witches brew served daily. I like the nice large cauldron. And actually this is a pretty decent thickness. It does come with a ribbon here that's been stapled onto the back to hang. But I thought that was really cute and it's got those traditional lime green, purple, and black colors. I also found this beautiful sign. It says, Welcome, come in for a spell. It has this really pretty witch with her black cat and they're sitting on their broom. Plus I really like that special detail that they did all the way around the outside on this sign. Very pretty. I really do like the size of these new spiders this year, so I did pick up a couple more packages. I grabbed another one here in the black. I picked up one in purple and one in orange, just in case I need them. But these are perfect additions to a Halloween wreath or centerpiece. I did grab a few more rolls of the Halloween ribbon. Now they do have the black and white buffalo check in the Halloween ribbon and their ribbon is still two and a half inches at three yards. So I grabbed one roll of that. I picked up another roll of their really pretty purple. This has lots of glitter on it and it is uh, see-through, very sheer. I grabbed another roll of the spider web. And then I picked up uh, two rolls of this one. I like it. I like the little uh, jack-o'-lantern with the witch hat on it. I thought that was really pretty. And then I grabbed another roll here with the witch's hats and all the bright, beautiful colors. I do like this ribbon, but I'm really ready for Dollar Tree to change up their ribbon. It's been a long time, and they've been carrying the same ribbon for the holiday for many years now. Time to change it up. I did pick up some more deco mesh. I grabbed probably six more packages of their black deco mesh and their deco mesh is six inches at five yards. Now I had a lot in my stash and if you've watched some of my past videos you know that I've had a bit of issues with it but I wanted to see if the mesh that's coming out this year is any better and then I needed some rolls of the lighter green so I did pick up a couple and this is six inches at five yards. And this one is actually marked their floral garden. This came from their old everyday box. So uh, I'm interested to see how well both of these are. So I grabbed a couple packages of those. And then I grabbed a couple of these and this is their sparkle mesh. And this is the black sheer, it's kind of like tulle. And it has the glittered spider webs on it. Let's see if I can get, it, get the package open. I like it. I have a specific wreath in mind that I think this is going to be very beautiful as accent pieces in it. But isn't that pretty? And I love the way it catches the light. Perfect for Halloween. I also picked up several packages of their tinsel stems for Halloween. They are 12 inches and you get 45 pieces. Now I do like these on certain projects when you want to leave them. They're really nice. You can kind of curl them down and use them as a decor piece on your wreath. So I did pick up two here in the orange and then I picked up three in the black. Now this was something new this year. They came out with the little uh, metal tree collars for the small Christmas, uh, Halloween trees. And this one says Happy Halloween. They had, I believe, three to choose from, but I really liked this one that was just traditional. So I just grabbed one of these. 
Now that was all of the Halloween items that I picked up on this trip. I did stock up nicely on my wreath forms. I picked up four here in the black, and it's nice to see that they got in a new batch. The last batch that I bought had um, where the crossbars were, they left them a little too long, and they had some really sharp edges on them. So these don't, these are nice and smooth. And then I really like the silver and the gold because they feel like they're extra powder coated. They're very smooth. I like them. So I found some more of the silver. So I picked up eight of those. Now I picked up several ribbon over in their fall section. I did pick up a couple of the smaller ribbon here. This is five eighths of an inch at four yards. I thought this one was really pretty. They have like blue, green, and orange little pumpkins with some leaves and vines. This one has adorable little gnomes on them. And then your traditional orange burlap. And I like this. It's kind of trimmed in a little bit of gold there on the edges. Now I was able to find some more of the ribbon that they had last year. And I really like this ribbon. This is their faux burlap. So I did pick up two rolls here in the green. And they are two and a half inches at three yards. And their faux burlap also comes in orange. So I did grab two rolls of the orange. And then I was really excited. I found some brand new ribbon for this year. They only had one box, but I was able to get uh, at least one roll of each of the kinds that they had. They are still two and a half inches at three yards. So this is the first one, a really pretty plaid, and it has green, orange, off-white, a little bit of burgundy, and a little bit of navy. And then I really like this one, a nice big navy and white check. So I thought those were really pretty. Stay. And then I found this patterned one. It has a cute little wheelbarrow filled with pumpkins there in the background. Nice navy blue. They did a good job about mixing the right colors in so that you can mix those ribbons and they'll look really good together. And then I really like this one too. This is very similar to what you'll find at Michael's. Again, it has the orange, the green, and the blue. So this matches the smaller ribbon. Very pretty. And I also found this one. It says grateful. It just repeats that same pattern all the way around. It's trimmed in a little bit of gold with an off-white background. And then this was the last pattern that I found and I think it's so pretty. Really nice for fall and it has that gorgeous navy color. Has little bits of acorns, green leaves, maple leaves. Very nice. I really like this one. And again, it goes with all of the other ribbons. So I thought that was a really nice find. I'm so excited. I hope they come out with new ribbon for Christmas. It was nice to see this, even though my store only got one box. Now I picked up some of the really cute little felt stickers that they have for fall. And this one you get nine pieces and it's a cute little pumpkin that has a stem. And they also have this guy, the little scarecrow head. You get six pieces of this one. This one's probably my favorite. Look at that cute little turkey. And you get six pieces of him as well. Really nice, cute little additions for some craft projects. Dollar Tree got in some new paper craft kits over in the fall section. And I thought these were really cute. Of course, you can make them as they were intended. But I like it when you can buy these because they have all the pieces printed, easily to punch out. So you don't have to put the craft together the way that they show. You can always use it the way that you want and maybe combine it with some other items and make something completely your own. But I thought these are great, especially if you have kids. You get six pieces. The craft is about eight inches in diameter. And this one, you can make this cute little pumpkin. 
So it comes with the plate and it comes with all the pieces. And actually it looks like you can make six of these little guys, which I think is really cute. I also found this one where you can make this adorable little squirrel. And again, you can see it has all the pieces that are printed. They just have to punch out and then the paper plates on the back and then they can glue them on. And then this is the last one that I found. This is what it looks like. So it gives you all those pieces. You can do autumn and then you have the three cute little animals and all the little acorns. Really nice little paper craft kits. I was so happy to see these, another brand new crafting item over in the fall section for 2023. These are cell adhesive stencils and I found several different ones. This one says pumpkin patch, it says welcome home pumpkin, welcome fall. They all have a little pumpkin down here and I like that they're done this way. These would be a good size for the small wood planks that Dollar Tree sells. Then I also found this one, Eat, Drink, and Be Thankful. Welcome to our patch. Let us be thankful and happy Thanksgiving. This one, Forever Thankful, Always Grateful, and Abundantly Blessed. Very nice. Eat, drink, and be thankful. Give thanks. Happy Thanksgiving. Eat, think, be, and be thankful. Be grateful. Give thanks, and hello, fall. Welcome, autumn. Pumpkin kisses, harvest wishes. I always have liked that saying. Oh my gourd, I love fall. <laughs> Happy fall, y'all. Fall is proof that change is beautiful. Autumn is my favorite color. And then this is the last one, and I like this one. I think it's very pretty. It has a bunch of little pumpkins, some acorns, sunflowers, leaves. Very, very nice great selection in their self-adhesive stencils. Now Dollar Tree has carried these for several years and these I absolutely love. They are their burlap leaves. You get five pieces. They have two different shapes to choose from and several different colors. This is the smaller one. So I picked it up in this kind of burlap, a little bit of a darker color. I also grabbed a package in orange and a package in red. These really come in handy when doing wreaths. I found some new burlap flowers that showed up in the fall section. They are calling them burlap stickers. You do get four blooms per package. Actually, these two are the same. They did have another one that I passed on, but I liked these. And then these I think are really pretty. They have like a little button on the inside. But these are always fun. This is one of those things that when you need them, they're very hard to find. So when you do find them, it's good to pick up just a package to have in your stash. I was really happy to see that my Dollar Tree got these in again this year. Now, last year I looked all over for them and I could not find them. I had to buy the stems of leaves and then remove them. This is a much better deal because you get 50 pieces in each package. And this year they're mixed, so it looks like they have some burlap leaves here in the back and then they have those traditional faux maple leaves. So I did pick up a couple packages so that I made sure I had enough for the season. Now I thought these were really pretty. Uh, these are just called hanging decor and I've picked up two different ones. I believe they had uh, more than that, but these were the two that I really liked. I liked this one with the pumpkins on it and the beads, and I like that they sneak in a dark bead every once in a while. And I thought, you know, this would look really pretty, maybe buy a couple of these and string them together and use them as garland across my uh, fireplace. So I picked up a couple here with the uh, pumpkins and then this is the other one that I picked up and this has really pretty little silver leaves. And they did glue one on this side and then flipped it over and glued another one on the other. So it is on both sides, which is nice. 
Uh, it looks like this one they popped off on the other side. I did find one in the bag, so. But I like that, and I do like these. I think these would look really pretty if I didn't use it as a garland. I would pop these off and maybe use them on another project along with those beads. But I think that's a good deal. You get all the beads and then the little elements there for $1.25. So I did pick up two of each of the designs. So I did just pick up two types of stems in the floral section. I liked this one because I liked the large acorn there and the berries and I like the variegated and different color tones there and the leaves. They're just calling this one a maple bouquet and I did pick up four stems of that. And then I also found this one. This one is also called a maple bouquet. But I really liked this. You have a small little gourd here, and then I really liked the pretty colors there in the berries. And the leaf colors are very different as well. But I liked that. I thought that was really pretty. But you can see how much of a color difference there is between those two stems. Very nice. So I started to pick up some of the pumpkins. They have so many little small pumpkins which are perfect for wreath making or garlands or anything like that. These are mini pumpkins and these are actually decent size. And these are the velvet pumpkins. I did pick up just two colors here. This really pretty dark green and this kind of rusty orange. I like those and I like those two together. They also got back in their faux leather pumpkins. And I think they did a better job on them this year than they were last year. They look a little bit cleaner put together. Last year they had a lot of glue and stuff around where the stem was. They still come on a little alligator clip. But I think those are really cute. They're perfect for wreaths. So I did pick up three colors in this. This really pretty kind of orange, the darker brown, and this kind of grayish taupe color very pretty. They also got their burlap pumpkins in again. Three pieces. So I picked up this one in the orange, kind of your natural or neutral color, and then this really pretty kind of dark green. Now I like the burlap ones. They look so pretty on really rustic or primitive wreaths. Now they have these really cute little decor pieces or they look like little ornaments. So if you like to do like a Thanksgiving tree, these would be so cute as little ornaments. And they had probably three or four to choose from. I only picked up two. I like this one. It's very traditional with the neutral and the orange colors, the little pumpkin there in the center that says blessed. And the pumpkin is just a little piece of felt. Then I also picked up this one. You know, I really like the acorns. And this one is nice and neutral. So I thought those were cute for 2023. Now these are really cute. I really fell in love with this one. I especially love the little bits of mushrooms there and the gnome. And that gnome is a three-dimensional piece. He is additional on top. Autumn days are the best. I think that's super cute. This comes with a little beaded hanger. And that's really easy. Oh, actually they have that stick in there. That would be hard to remove. Yeah, that's not like a normal picture frame there in the back. They actually have that set in. That's nice. But I really like it. This one I'm gonna use just the way it is. I think it is absolutely adorable. Then I also found this one pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes and again that beautiful pumpkin in the center is a three-dimensional piece but I like these and they had about four maybe five different ones to choose from I only picked up the two I like them this one I didn't see this one the first time I was looking at them but then uh the last time I went in, I took a better look and found it. And I think it's really cute. I love the little scarecrow there. And the word autumn is three dimensional. This is one of their shelf setters, nice and thick. They do sit well on their own. But these aren't too heavy that you can't staple in some pipe cleaners on the back and put this onto a wreath. I think he's so cute. The graphics on this one are adorable. 
These were also brand new and I was very attracted. They had three to choose from. I had to control myself. I only bought one. My kitchen has a lot of red accents in it, so I thought this would be really cute sitting in my kitchen. And it does have the faux stem there. They had uh, three different sayings, thankful, grateful, and blessed, I believe. This color, they had one in like a blue tone and one in a green tone. But like I said, this will match my kitchen very well, so I picked it up for a decor piece in my kitchen. It's a nice size and something different that I haven't seen at Dollar Tree before. These are also another brand new decor item that I found. And I did find three different ones. These are tin. They're shaped like a little pumpkin there. They have a nice little piece of raffia. They also come with a little bit of jute cord there to hang them. This one says pumpkin spice and everything nice. But these are really good if you want to put them on a wreath and go outside. Then they had this one, which is really beautiful. I love the little white pumpkins and the kind of blues and greens. This one is Be Thankful. And then this is the last one I found, Happy Fall, with the adorable pumpkins in there. Very cute. Now this was something new that I found, a nice decor piece. And they had a couple different colors to choose from. So that is a metal base underneath. And this is kind of like a knitted material that's over the metal bar. And then you have the beads. And it has a little stuffed stem there at the top. They're just calling it wall decor and a leaf and a bow. So I found one in this color. And then I also found it here in the with the blue beads. But I thought that was really cute. I like it. It's very simple and plain, but unique. Dollar Tree got in their cute little harvest ceramic dishes. And they had several different ones to choose from this year. They had one similar to this last year. And it comes in the off-white, um, I believe a light green and another color, maybe orange. But I like this because it has a very small, kind of hard to see there with the camera, but there's a design of a really pretty sunflower there and a few leaves. These are really cute to set out on your tables. Now this one was new this year. They didn't have the acorns last year and I did find two different ones. This is more of your darker color version. And then they had this one. Now I like how they did the tops. They gave it that nice beaded texture. Very pretty. And then they had these last year and I absolutely love these. I have probably, this will probably be my third set of colored leaves like this. And they look absolutely gorgeous if you have a coffee table or side table, especially when you buy different colors because they look so pretty just laid out next to each other on the table. So I did pick up one of each of the colors that I could find, but look at how pretty those are. I love the detail. They put the vining in there on the leaves. Very, very pretty. Dollar Tree did get in their little harvest mats. And this one is probably my favorite. It says, hi there, pumpkin. It has all the really pretty different colored pumpkins and gourds across the bottom. Now these aren't the best. They usually will only last me one season if I can get through that. Uh, let's see, they are 15.7 inches by 23.7 inches. They're very light. Uh, it gets really windy where I live and a lot of times it'll pick it up and toss it down the street and then I never see it again. But hopefully this year it'll last me the season. <laughs> but I think this one is really cute. I love the pumpkins down here at the bottom. And I did pick up just a few craft supplies on this trip. I did grab some more of the Crafter Square glue sticks. And you still get 20 pieces, which I think is a pretty good deal. Now, I've used their glue for a long time. And for the most part, I don't really have too many issues with it. 
So I do like it. And 20 sticks for $1.25 I think is pretty good. I also picked up a couple more packages of their craft clamps. I use these things all the time. The larger ones that they recently came out with maybe a year ago, they work really well, especially if you're doing some larger pieces that you need to clamp together. So for the bigger ones that are heavy duty, you get two pieces. And then they have these, which are smaller, which I still use a lot. And you get six pieces in that, and these are also heavy duty. And of course, I love the fact that they come in my signature pink color. Love it. I grabbed myself another one of the Crafter Square roller cutters. I really do like these. They are a great deal for $1.25, and they last me a good six to eight months. And you can even buy a replacement blade for say your Fiskars or whatever for $1.25 and they work just as well as my Fiskars brand that I paid about $50 for. So this makes me really happy whenever um, I get down to where I need to replace it. I get rid of it, buy a new one, and I'm good to go for another six to eight months. Since Christmas is coming, I decided to grab a package of the beautiful red floral wire. Now, I like Dollar Tree's floral wire. It's a very thin, but it's nice and strong, and it's really great when you have to wire things onto your wreath. And like I said, since Christmas is coming, I thought red might come in handy. This is 26 gauge, and you get 100 feet for $1.25. I saw this cute little house decor piece and I really liked it. It's been hard for me to find it with the light washed color look to it. So I finally found one and I grabbed it. And I like this one that has the chimney. It really gives that I'm at home feeling. And these of course come with a jute cord, but I really like these. It's a beautiful blank to work with. This was also something new that I found over in the Crafter Square section. Now they've had the wood panels in the past, but they haven't had them in the rectangular shape. They've always been very square. So this is just a little bit uh, larger than the ones they've had in the past. And I really like these because you can use them either side. If you just flip them over, you have a beautiful uh, piece that's already framed for you that you can work on just do your design and that's a good half inch of depth So you can actually do a little bit of a three-dimensional design in there So these are great. You can use them on either side Nice new addition to crafter square Now they just got in a fresh box of their wood planks. So I did go ahead and pick up four now I thought this was really interesting. This side is nice and smooth and finished and this side is extremely rough and unfinished. So honestly, depending on what texture you want with your project, you could use either side. I did pick up four of them and you need to look closely at them because several of them had large like knots in them. And when you're crafting, the knots can give you trouble, especially if you need to drill a hole in that area. Sometimes the knots will literally just pop out of your piece. So you really wanna to try to get a piece that doesn't have any knots that's nice and clean like this. You'll have a lot less trouble in the future using those pieces. I did pick up a few items over in the beauty section and I do like their Assured 100% Pure Cotton Rounds. You get 80 count and $1.25 is a good deal to buy these in your regular drugstore. You pay a lot more than that. And I love these for working on my nails. They also help to remove makeup and things like that. So I go through these pretty frequently. Now these are also a repurchase for me and I really like these naturally inspired Yardley of London disposable washcloths. They are alcohol free, enriched with aloe vera, chamomile and vitamin E, cleans, moisturizes and soothes and refreshes your skin. You get 18 large washcloths. They are 12 inches by 8 inches. They are not flushable so don't put them down your toilet. But I really like these, especially in the summertime here where I live. I mean, we get up into the triple digits, 110. It's gotten up to 117. So uh, you're most likely going to sweat. These work very well at doing a nice little cleanup to keep you nice and fresh. 
My skin does not have any reaction to them, so I really like them. They're perfect for that quick cleanup. Or if you like to exercise, these are a great way to do that quick cleanup after you've hit the gym. So I found another brand new box of the Ioni that is dedicated to nails. And this one was pretty full, so I found all the things that I missed the other two times that I found it. So I thought these are really cool. These are Nail Art Chrome Powder. So I found two different colors. We have this one, which is a really pretty kind of pinky rose color. And then Crystalline White, which I thought was really pretty. So I picked up one of each of those. Then I found this box, Nail Art Jewels, which I thought was really pretty. Now we have some stars. We have a little heart some snowflakes, a couple little butterfly, and it looks like a, a little bit of Paris there. So I thought those were really cute. And then these are nail art rhinestones. And wow, you get a ton in there. One package is plenty that would keep you busy forever. Really nice find. And then I absolutely love these. I found three different packages of the nail art stickers. So this one might be kind of hard for you to see. These are all gold stickers and they're florals and leaves. Very pretty. Let's see. Easy application, transform your nails in seconds. It does give you instructions there on the back on how to use it. I love this one. Look at all those beautiful butterflies. Very, very pretty. And this one has more butterflies and some really pretty roses. Really beautiful pinks. Nice. I did pick up just a couple snacks. This is one of my favorites that Dollar Tree has been carrying for about a year, maybe a year and a half. Be fruitful. They have several different flavors. This one's my favorite, the pineapple one. And you do get uh, 16 grams in a package. They are non-GMO. I grabbed another box of one of my favorite popcorns. I like the Pop Secret. The three bags are more individual size bags which suits my microwave. I have a small microwave. Plus the larger bags, it's just too much popcorn for one person. So this suits me just fine. And I like that you get three. They have several different flavors to choose from. The movie theater butter is my favorite. So I saw this kettle corn. I really do like kettle corn. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the Act 2 popcorn, but I decided to grab a box and give it a try. You never know. I may like it. So here is hoping that I love their old-fashioned sweet and salty kettle corn. I did pick up some drinks on this trip, and I do really like this. It's by Arizona Tea Company, and this is what they call their Arnold Palmer Light. This is half iced tea and half lemonade. I really like this. You get 34 fluid ounces, which I think is great. So I grabbed one of those. And I also really like the uh, green tea with the ginseng and honey. This is also one of my favorites. This also gives me a good boost of energy in the morning and you get 34 fluid ounces in that as well. Those are nice and big. I did pick up a couple more of my Bang Energy drinks and I was really excited. I found two brand new flavors. This one is Purple Guava Pear. This is very good. I like this one. And then I just tried this one this morning and this is Bang Energy Crazy Key Lime Pie. It does have a lime flavor to it. I wouldn't necessarily say it's fully key lime. But I did like it. I thought that was great and I love all the new flavors that are coming out. And there you go. That's everything that I picked up this week at Dollar Tree. Uh, I really did like the items that I found in Halloween, though I'm just biting at the bit for them to get that big shipment of Halloween decor in. And I am blown away this year by the wonderful items that they have in fall. So many things to choose from, and I know that there's still more coming. 
Now, I know it may be early for you to think about fall, but here's the thing with Dollar Tree. By the time you're ready to do fall, fall will be gone out of Dollar Tree and they'll be completely into Christmas. So even though you feel that it's early, if you're looking for fall decor or craft items, you need to pick them up now. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. You know it's always a pleasure to see you. If you enjoy craft tutorials and hauls, you're going to want to check out these other videos. You have a great day. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next video.